and stuck in the hospital over the holidays is no fun. But imagine you're a child. Well, today, kids at Memorial Children's Hospital got a special surprise. WSBT's Denise Bone joins us with more on this story. Denise, some strangers delivered presents to these kids. That's right, Jennifer. They had bags full of toys for kids they had never met before. And they earned the money to buy those toys by doing extra chores. You see, the people behind this toy drive and giveaway are kids themselves just wanting to make a difference. They don't have white beards or red suit, but they were jolly and had plenty of presents. I just keep looking forward to seeing their, the smiles on their faces. Ten-year-old Erin Hake and her eight-year-old sister Madison are delivering more than 30 toys to sick children at Memorial Hospital. I don't like when people are hurt or in pain, and I like when they're healthy, so I just wanted to do chores and make money for them. For months, the girls have saved up their allowances to buy gifts. We have little um, race car figure things from Turbo. For kids they've never met, like little one-year-old Robert. They stopped room after room, delivering a gift, a smile, Somebody's coming to see you. and some hope. This has become a tradition for the sisters, started three years ago after seeing a show about a little girl who had cancer. They took their piggy banks that they had money saved for Disney, and they dumped it out, and they counted it, and they bought toys. Yeah, this is for you, too. Thank you. It's a baby. It's a baby. We never had these before. A small gesture from one child to another. With the hopes of leaving a big imprint on someone else's life. I thought it was very nice and kind that they could do such a thing for all the kids in the hospital. I think if uh, a 10 and an 8 year old kid can pay it forward, anybody can. What do you hope you inspire others to do? They just have to be giving and um, just care about other people. The girls also have friends and family that help them with their annual toy drive. And they started a group called Kids Care About Cancer. And I asked them, how many years do you think you can keep doing this? And they said they hope to pass this tradition down in their family from generation to generation. At the Update Center, Denise Bone, WSBT, Channel 22 News. Denise,